This portion of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited, fueling growth for people. The Cane Toad Task Force has mobilized and residents are being warned to keep a close eye for the cane toad that loves urban areas around homes. Environment Minister Kendra Dorsett advised residents that it's not a good idea for anyone to touch the species of toad, which can be fatal to small pets and cause skin outbreaks in humans. Do not take it from the area where sighted as you will be actively assisting in the spreading of this invasive species. Do not attempt to sell it to a pet store. Do not try to collect a pair, i.e. male and female. Landscaping companies must be aware of materials being removed from the Lifaki area because adult cane toads can effectively burrow in the soil and stow away in landscaping materials and trash. However, if the spread of this cane toad species is not controlled, Director of Science and Policy with the Bahamas National Trust, Vanessa Haley Benjamin, says this could be the worst case scenario. Cane toad has the ability to travel about um, 10 kilometers in the first year and, it, and up to, and then it starts to speed up because of natural selection, they can then travel up to 30 to 40 kilometers. So we're talking about six to 40 miles in a year. Now to news regarding the educational system. Medicals reports are now mandatory for all students returning to the classroom in the public school system. Principal of Carmichael Primary Earl Smith says some students have had challenges getting the screenings complete, but he says the school is prepared to allow them a grace period. Find, uh, most of the parents are complying with the, the medical and uh, those who have not gotten theirs yet, we, we are expecting them to get it as early as possible. So we are appealing to the medical um, firm to, the, to, and the clinics to try and help us out with supplying those medicals for our students, for them in order to, to be in school. You see? So we are looking forward to that. That's a new venture. And um, for the other grade levels, I know our preschool and grade ones have been getting them. All right, so for the other classes, I know it's going to be a little challenge, but we need those at this time. Once they, once they come in with a reasonable excuse as to why, sometimes it's usually be the appointments being made, and the appointments were made late, so we give them an, um, sufficient time to get those medicals in. More good news in education. 20 top students are the recipients of full scholarships to Success Training College. The scholarships, which value over $200,000, were donated by Island Luck Web Cafe. Island Luck representative Edwina Auden told recipients the scholarship will assist them in achieving their academic and career goals, and she encouraged them to use their degree to enhance the country. The value of these scholarships is a total of $250,000, which we are sure will go a long way towards assisting you with securing your education. We are pleased to assist you with your college education, which is the first step to pursuing your, which is the first step to preparing you to your future goals. I encourage you to remain focused in your studies, and when completed with your degree, we hope that you will help in building the Bahamas. As Nelson Mandela said, Education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. This holds true to us here in the Bahamas. But no doubt you'll be able to provide for your families and help make valuable contributions to our society. Once again, on behalf of Island Luck and its management, we wish you much success in your future endeavors. Well, the North Long Island High School and their partners hosted a back-to-school expo for students in that community. Our Julian Gibson tells us it was all in an effort to create an upbeat mood for the students as they return to school. Spearheaded by the North Long Island High School and the religious and business community, the Back to School Expo was a smashing success. Free food and drinks, the distribution of school supplies, the youngsters even heard from some speakers as they got motivated for the school year. It's so important, so important that we give these kids who are the future of this country 
whatever head start we can to make sure that they make the most of the education that they're given. And I want these kids listening on the sound of my voice right now to know that these years that you spend in school, it may seem arduous, it may seem like a task, but these are some of the, these are the most important years and these are the years that will make the foundation for the rest of your life. There are so many people here today that are looking to you because you are the future of our Bahamas. We come together today, not only because we want to give you the books and give you the hairdos and give you all of the requisite things that you need to do well, but we want to give you the support to let you know that we are depending on you to excel. Research has proven that schools do not operate as independent or isolated ent entities. They operate within a social context, and that being the community. We ask God to inspire our students. We ask God to take charge of their lives, to direct them, to guide them, and to protect them. Reporting for the ZNS News Network, I'm Julian Gibson. Also assisting with the preparations was Chairman of the Bahamas Mortgage Corporation, Senator Alex Storr, who reflected on the island's potential. They're going to start um, the delivery of water to Long Island because right now most of the north and most of the south don't have water. So that's one of the biggest things that's on the agenda, as well as upgrades to the airport and Edmund Ski, as well as some roadworks. Any major touristic uh, development on the drawing board? There are some things that are in development that I'm not privy to sp speak to yet, but I know the Prime Minister is actively searching for a project for Long Island and he's, he said to me that he doesn't just want to put a project on Long Island, he doesn't want to put a square peg in a round hole. He wants a project that will fit Long Island and so that it'll, it'll be sustainable and it'll be long lasting. In just a matter of hours now, a new Miss Universe Bahamas will be crowned. Yesterday, we introduced you to four of the exquisite eight and got to know exactly what they stand for tonight. We get to know the remaining four contestants vying for the coveted title. Here's Tavet Darvel, Chantel O'Brien, Shanae Strawn, and Lexi Wilson. Um, I'm an outdoorsy person. I love nature. I love the sea. My dad's a fisherman and an auto mechanic, so I like cars. I like the water. That's me. My platform is skin cancer awareness in the Bahamas. I don't think we focus enough on protecting ourselves from the sun. Um, I feel like as Bahamians, we have a misconception that only the lighter skinned people need to wear sunblock when they go to the beach, and that's not true. I know what it takes to be Miss Bahamas, and that is to walk worthy of the crown. I know it takes elegance, it takes poise, it takes intelligence, it's not just the face, it's your inequalities, and I feel like I have it, I have what it takes, and my confidence, you can see it, it's stripping off of me, and I feel like that's what the Bahamas need. They need someone that is not only concerned about making the Bahamas look good, but also concerned about the current issues in the country as well. Well, I've always seen myself as a role model for the youth and a women's rights advocate and I believe in beauty with a purpose and that Miss Bahamas is a platform for me to just broaden my activism and I feel like it's a great opportunity to say here I am, look at me, I'm a woman, I'm beautiful, I have an opinion and it matters. Reporting live from Miss Universe Bahamas, Lexi Wilson here, 22 Miss Parkland Jewelers. My major goal as Miss Bahamas is to definitely get my platform out there. It's pageantry with a purpose, so it would not make sense if you were coming to Miss Bahamas for the glitz and the glam. It's to come here and actually activate your purpose and your passion for what you wanted to join the pageant for. And stay with us, a look at sports is next.